Hey guys, I'm here to talk to you about the SEMA X8C. As you can see, I'm kind of flying it um, in my front yard, doing a flip right there. Um, it's very maneuverable, very sporty. If you fly it in high mode, there's a high and a low. That's not to be mistaken with headless mode and non-headless mode. Um, when you're flying it in a high or low mode, as you can see, I'm flying it a little more sporty. I'm able to get to a higher altitude much faster. The camera can barely keep up with me and focus. Um, but I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm flying very high in high mode because it was a little bit windy that day. Um, when you fly it in low mode, the battery will last a little bit longer. The SEMA will not be as fast and as maneuverable but it will be a lot more stable in my opinion so as you can see the second flight right now i'm gonna fly it in low mode you can see it's a little more stable not as fast um i'm gonna do uh try to do a couple flips the thing is when you do a flip on the sema it's a big quadcopter and it's not perfectly balanced so you need to be an experienced pilot to do a flip and still keep it on track so right now I'm trying to fly it in headless mode so no matter whatever direction the um, head of the drone is um, if I pull back it'll come back to me if I go forward it'll go away from me um, that's me right there with the drone I'm trying to get used to headless mode um, and now I'm flying it in high mode in headless mode so it's very quick and headless mode is very different and as you can see right here, I'm about to hit the house. Um, but thankfully, I didn't panic. And that's the whole key. When you're flying a quadcopter and a drone, you don't want to panic. So that's the end of the video, folks. Um, hope you guys appreciated it. Uh, like or subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.